thousands of dollars. This building stands on toxic ground, land that is condemned and has been for years. That's why it's closed and nobody lives here. The whole area is still ruled as toxic, has been proven. These children stand here in the morning waiting for the bus, breathing this toxic air. And it's not safe for them and it's not safe for really people to live around. If you see, many of the buildings have been condemned, they're fenced off because they're not fit to live in. This has been an issue. This has been an issue for many years since it, the area was uh, condemned and ruled not fit to live on, which made people sick and still is if they were permitted to live in these houses. So why have our children stand out here in front of this? call themselves uh, fixing, repairing the land by excavating a few feet, uh, but without satisfaction to the, the homeowners, the cro across the street from them is still all toxic. Look at this. This has been like this since it was ruled toxic uh, way back in 1988-89. The school which existed around the corner from here. Moulton School was closed because of the same reason of the toxicity. The area is not fit to live on. It made many people sick. I myself used to live around the corner. We moved because of, the, uh, because of this problem. Many of the air residents moved and never did return. And across the street, this whole area, except for that little corner there, that's supposed to be uh, excavated, but uh, who would trust it when the surrounding area is all still toxic? If you study toxicity, it's harmful to the health. It's not conducive for healthy growth of children. It causes all kinds of sicknesses. And we shouldn't allow our children to stand on such ground daily to attend a school when they can be elsewhere.
this would only happen to children of color, uh, children whose parents cannot afford to have them to go to another school, children who are impoverished, and we feed upon this and let these children stand here in this area which is already ruled as toxic and has been proven. This right across the street from it, at these same buildings in Prince Park. The name of the street. The name of this street is Benefit. I'm standing on the street of Benefit and Press Drive. And this is an area where we have our children to stand and know that it, it's not suitable for people to live on. This is why the neighbors have been moved out. And this is why it's so isolated and desolated right now. And it's not a place, if you wouldn't live there, you don't want to have your children just standing here breathing this air all the time while they await the bus. The glory of Oh, yeah.